When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Good morning, I'm Pilot Bambi and we're currently at Vinterfeld Airfield in South Africa. We're going to take this 172 up for a sunrise flight with Mauditz and my parents who are here now and we're going to fly along the peninsula. So um, let's go! Traffic on one two six decimal eight. Share Charlie Echo is uh, one mile to the north of Kuber, routing to Blaubeerstraat. Cape Town, also known as the Mother City, is a place that I find myself returning to every year. With her rich and turbulent history, fascinating landscapes, and some of the world's best wines, it has become a melting pot of diverse cultures and exudes an energy that I haven't quite found anywhere else. And with landmarks as iconic as Table Mountain, the city etches herself into your mind, making it a place you won't easily forget. And in front of us, we've got Table Mountain and Lion's Head looking more beautiful than ever. On Cape Town Special Rules Area West, Chair Charlie Echo, 1,400 feet overhead, green points, climbing 2,000 feet for the peninsula routes. South Africa is the country where I first earned my wings, and in my opinion, one of the most spectacular regions to fly over. As we pass the busy beaches of Clifton and Camps Bay, we follow the coastline towards the Cape Peninsula. Most of this land is part of the Table Mountain National Park, which is home to more than 2,000 plant species, many of which are endemic to the region. Well, this is Cape Point. Uh, this is not what people think the most southern point of Africa, because that's further up uh, at Cape Agulhas. But uh, this is the peninsula that stretches out from Cape Town, and this is what uh, people were rounding when they were sailing around Africa. Portuguese explorer Bartholomew Diaz was the first to round the Cape Peninsula in 1488. He named it the Cape of Storms, for the notoriously bad weather that over centuries littered shipwrecks around the coastline. 
A decade later, Vasco da Gama navigated the same route and sailed down the coast of Africa, successfully opening a new trading route for Europe with India and the Far East. 500 years later, we call it the Cape of Good Hope and get to admire it from the sky. So we're just going to continue at about, uh, whoop, it's pretty bumpy here, <laughs> at uh, 2300 feet until Fishhook. Then we'll call up Cape Town Tower again. Um, that seems to be the only frequency that they're listening out. And then we'll cross Meisenberg. Meisenberg will enter the CTR and do a coastal flight about 1,000 feet towards Makassar. And then we'll uh, leave the CTR there and then uh, continue out to Stellenbos and we'll make our way back over the Botlery Hills towards Wittfogel again. Sierra Charlie, QNH is 1010. You create a route along the coastline and report leaving the zone towards uh, Somerset West at 500 feet. Unfortunately, a few days prior, there had been a large wildfire in the Fransuk region. It created an eerie, smoke-filled sky over the Cape Winelands. But luckily, the men and women working on fire managed to contain it. Wintervogel traffic, Sierra Charlie Echo, over at 2,000 feet, uh, descending on the western side for a left crosswind runway 20. liked this flight. One of the most beautiful places to fly in South Africa, I think. We're going to see many more uh, in the coming weeks, but uh, it's nice to start off here in the Cape Peninsula and enjoy the absolutely beautiful scenery here, the mountains and the sea. It's fantastic. And now we're taxiing up back to the hangars, pack up and enjoy the rest of our day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.